here we've actually embedded a dashboard uh, directly into this uh, MixERP application. And this is a, a .NET application. So, you know, we're not embedding into only Java applications. We can uh, embed into to non-Java applications as well. So here's an, a .NET open source um, uh, MixERP uh, type of application. And um, uh, Jerport is embedded here as a dashboard. You can see the different components here. Um, but I want to show you a way to customize this using JavaScript. So we go to top selling items here. This is another uh, report that we built out. And you can see that this is like a three-dimensional um, bar chart. Um, this is all controlled using JavaScript. And let me go to actual code here. And logging into the actual uh, AWS AMI uh, Windows machine. Um, and you can see here that um, you know, we have uh, different JavaScript uh, files. Uh, we're going to be modifying report-rpt.js. And uh, this is the line that actually controls what you're actually going to see there. So I want to uncomment this line and comment this line. What we saw there before was account-bar.cls. This is a JRPort uh, proprietary format there that uh, shows that account bar chart. So I'm just switching that to something called top selling onewls um, And you can see where it's being used uh, a little bit uh, down below here in that um, uh, uh, we've built out all of the APIs in JavaScript. You can see that this variable uh, factory is set to the app factory in, uh, in Ginfinite's uh, uh, API for JavaScript. And uh, that is later, uh, that factory is later used here to run the report. You see the function call here uh, with JRPort server and the PRPT RES, which is what I set um, up here to top selling one dot WS. Uh, so this is the function call that makes um, that re that uh, report generation happen. All right, so uh, I've changed that. Let me go and save it and switch back to the bar chart. And all I have to do is refresh. So now you're seeing a completely different type of uh, report. Okay, top selling items with uh, two with four uh, components. Uh, let me go and change that again to something a little bit more interesting, top selling two, press save, and I go back and I just do a quick refresh, and you're now seeing more variety of different components. Um, so you can also add things like um, a toolbar. You know? So there's a lot of, all the components can be added individually. So let's go back and add the, uh, Toolbar. All you have to do go in this particular case is, uh, you know, has toolbar equals to true, and hit save. Go back and hit refresh, and now you can make the toolbar visible. So the toolbar lets you do things like saving, export, uh, print, you know, undo, redo, uh, filter, and you can set the full data mode or partial data mode. You can even set uh, view mode or edit mode. So a lot of control there using the JavaScript. Um, but this is all still contained in one, you know, report area. Okay, this whole report is, is contained in an area of the mix ERP application. What happens if you want to mix, kind of, you know, take individual components and, and spread them around a little bit and, and kind of provide more flexible ways of, uh, of customizing? So I click on another report called Sales by Office. Um, and, and this is an interesting one where we have a report actually below this line here. And the control components, the external control components, are actually sitting uh, in a different section of this uh, mixed ERP application uh, above the line. Okay, so that's actually outside of the report. Uh, we could have, if we wanted to, taken these uh, buttons and put them uh, in the same you know line as the inventory, sales, purchase, finance, back office, and mixed them into that uh, with JavaScript. But uh, we just had this here for uh, for better clarity. So um, you know, I can definitely uh, go do things like. Um, uh, set the different uh, set of filter to, to the top four products, the top sales for the top four products. So now you see four items here. Um, I can uh, export them, print them, and this is a shortcut button. If I want to export out to Excel, I just click this button and it downloads to my desktop. And I could see a uh, Excel file that looks near identical. Sorry, I have a lot of things running on my. Uh, my Mac here, so it might be a little bit slow to load up Excel. So I haven't tried this recently with GoToMeeting. I guess it's a, kind of a resource hog. Okay, there we go. So now we have the Excel. 
Um, and basically, you know, this is pretty close to what you saw in the actual um, in the actual web application, the Mixerp application. Um, and this is, you know, mind you, not just a snapshot or a screen capture of that bar chart. This is actually backed with uh, this is a real chart object backed with actual data. Okay, so you can continue to change the representation of your visualization directly in Excel. Um, let's go ahead and close that and go back to this. Um, I want to now do some customization of this. Uh, a really kind of quick and easy one is to be able to uh, change that Excel button, and I want to change it to PDF. So here is a file that controls the label of it. So I can change it to PDF here. Um, if I click on it, it's still going to generate an Excel file, but I'm just changing the label to PDF. Click Save. And this other file, demo-rpt-sales.js, this actually controls the functionality of that button. So I want to change that uh, to now be able to generate a PDF file rather than an Excel file. So go ahead and save that. And I will go back to my browser, the Mixerp application, um, do a refresh there. And now you can see that this button is now PDF. So let's, you know, change this to a filter, you know, across the top two product sales. Um, and when I click PDF here, downloads to, to my machine. And it usually just pops open my PDF. Uh, oh yeah, so it just popped open. I just have my um, um, Mac. Whenever there's a PDF download, I pop open uh, the preview application to show the PDF file. So this is the PDF file of exactly what you saw uh, on that Mix ERP application. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that. And so that just kind of highlights the different ways you can customize. Of course, those are simple examples, but you can definitely do more comp uh, you know, complex types of um, uh, you know, manipulations of and customizations of the, uh, the, the control components, the individual widgets, and the entire report uh, into any application. And it looks like you know, you have, you know, users really have no idea that JRPort's running in the background. They all think it's just part of the Mix ERP application. And that's the intention is that we can be entirely white labeled and uh, fully customized and integrated into uh, any type of uh, application.